Headline news for Tuesday, June 28th from the Westchester County Business Journal, Fairfield County Business Journal, and westfaironline.com, Peter Katz reporting. The House January 6th committee is holding a televised hearing at 1 p.m. today that was scheduled at the last minute yesterday, resulting in committee members having to fly back to Washington from the July 4th House of Representatives break. The committee is expected to hear testimony from Cassidy Hutchinson, a close aide to former White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows. The committee previously had recorded testimony from her, but sources indicate she may provide blockbuster new information today. The National Transportation Safety Board has sent a team of investigators to Menden, Missouri, where an Amtrak train en route from Los Angeles to Chicago derailed after hitting a dump truck at a grade level crossing. Three people were killed and more than 50 injured. The train was carrying about 200 passengers. The death toll as of early this morning stood at 18 with 59 injured as a result of a Russian missile hitting a Ukrainian shopping center in Kyiv. Ukrainian officials said there were about a thousand people inside the shopping center when the missile struck. A statement issued this morning by world leaders at the G7 summit in Germany said that their countries would support Ukraine for as long as it takes in the war started by Russia. They agreed to work to limit the amount of money Russia receives from selling oil and natural gas that would hurt Russia while also helping consumers. In San Antonio, 46 people have been found dead in a tractor-trailer truck that was parked on a back road. Officials said they were immigrants who had been smuggled across the border from Mexico. It was not immediately known from which countries they came. 18 were found still alive and they were taken to hospitals. The truck had been spotted by a San Antonio City employee who reportedly heard cries for help coming from inside. The U.S. Supreme Court, in a 6-3 decision along philosophical lines, ruled that it is appropriate for a high school football coach in Bremerton, Washington, to hold prayer sessions on the 50-yard line at the end of football games. The dissenting liberal justices argued that by doing so, the coach was incorporating prayer into school and coercing students into participating. The conservative justices said the Constitution protected the coach's right to engage in prayer. Stay in touch with the Westchester County Business Journal, Fairfield County Business Journal, and westfaironline.com.